Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can draw, um, different, um, so what I'm going to use is a dog, but what you can do, so how you can understand angles, um, and face guidelines. So first I'm going to talk about the three main groups of angles or face guidelines. So first let's draw a circle first of all. You can trace it off something, but anything will work. So here we have a circle, okay, it might not be perfect, but it's a circle. Okay, so now this is the, um, this is the first guideline com that comes to your head when you think of one. You probably are thinking about this, so this is, um, a, s um, a face so that you see every part of the face. Um, you see every, p so like I said, you see every part of the face. This is straight, or as straight as you can. Um, if you use a l you ruler, it'll be more accurate, but as straight as you can. Um, so, yes, now what I'm going to talk to you about... So, I'm going to talk about all of these later, but first let me just show you all of them. So, then over here, I'm going to draw this. So, this is a profile view. It has not... It doesn't have the center in it, because the center is here. You're not good. You're gonna only like if you're drawing a nose. You're gonna draw the nose here, so you're not really gonna see the f front here. Just that if you're gonna put it in. All right. Now I'm gonna tell, or you could put this in if you wanna put the facial features in different areas. But now what I'm gonna talk to you about is a third, a uh, three-quarter view. I think what it's called. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend it, kind of the thing, the line, the guidelines, so that it kind of looks like this. Now now I'm going to explain a bit more about them. So first I'm going to explain about the three-quarter view. Um, three-quarter view basically is a view like, let's say, so it's not, it's like a cross between a, fr a front view, that's what it's called, and a and a side view, or as uh, as known as um, profile. So it's a cross of those, so it makes this. So this line here is not exactly in the middle, and it's not um, not visible. It's not um, invisible. It's here, s and this line is kind of bent, kind of. So because if, if this is bent. It would only make sense if this is bent too, so that you can get accurate face placements. Okay, so now I'm going to talk to you more. Um, I'm going to be drawing a Boston Terrier on, on of all of these and show you the different views. But first let me show you like h different things you can do with this front view. So the lines aren't always going to stay the same. What you could do with a front view, let's say here is a little circle. Let's say I wanted your character to look down, but a front view. It's not a side view. What you could do is you can just put the the, the middle line a bit lower so that they, it look, kind of looks like they're looking down. And then you could and to make it look up, to make like your character look up, you could just put the line higher. That's really all you can do with um, a front view picture because the front view is a front view. So now here we're going to talk about what you can do with side views. Side views um, are kind of limited, but let's go over here. Let's say your character was looking down at a side view. You would kind of have to. Um, you could you put it lower, like that, and also like that, but that kind of makes it look weird. So I'm going to explain that more when I'm actually going to put the face placement, uh, the face details in the, uh, the, the Boston Terry on it so you can understand a bit more about it. But now, um, the one, this one is almost unlimited for the three quarter view. So this is what it w would look like, um, basically, but this is also as if it was looking at something over here, but their face is still looking like that. So they're not completely facing that way, but they're not also but they're also not facing um, down or up or that way. They're facing kind of here, 
So let's say this is the middle and it goes here. Okay. So here what you're going to do is that's the it's just the opposite if you want them to look the other way. You can also go up with it. So you can do face here. Um, I'll explain a bit more about this later and then over here. Okay, so now that you've kind of got the concept of uh, basic views and the guidelines, now I'm going to be telling, uh, if you're still confused, I'm going to be drawing them so that you probably have a better understanding of it. Okay, so first I'm going to add eyes, okay? Now you can skip this part because you're if you're not learning how to draw one, then you won't need this. But I'm gonna draw eyes like that. Okay. Like so. So this is a front view. You're gonna see all the so. This is now a front view, so we have everything centered. Maybe this is a little bit off, but you know, you'd put everything centered where they are. So this would be centered. This would have one eye spacing here. You could put if if your character has um, if your character is an animal, then you could put ears up here. If your character is a human, then it's probably going to be where this line is. So over here, if it was a human, and that is a front view. And now for the looking up one. You're gonna do that, like so. And I'm gonna put this now over more over here, like that. And it's more of, and this looks more like a three-quarter view, um, because usually if it's not too centered, it will make a difference. So let's change that a little bit. And let's center this now, like so. There we go. Like that. This might look a bit weird right now. But, you know, so over here, look at that. Just making its head kind of like that. So like so, like this. It's going to be looking more up because the eye placements are over here and it's going to have that. Now if you want it to look more pride, like it's showing pride or leadership, what you could do is you could just put the pupils in the center. It would look like he, um, he or she is sticking his chin out as if he, he had um, pride or something or he's feeling optimistic about something. I'm just drawing basic drawings here, but you know, okay, next. So the snout or the nose would kind of come out here. And you're going to draw the wrinkles if it, because mine is a flat faced dog, so they're not too out. I'm going to draw the nose over here. Like that. This is the one that I kind of struggle with the most, but you could be better at it. So you can put the middle line over here, and you could know where to place your eye more specifically. Here I'm making him have a surprised look. Of course, all of this is basic drawings. This is just to let you have an understanding of different views. But okay, let's go on now to... And of course you can make it face the other way, just vice versa. But now let's show you how we can do it, how he can look up. So you you can put the eye here. Like that, with his chin out. Like that. And you can do the same with looking down. Here, look just looking down. So now over here we're going to talk about three quarter views, which is probably um, one of the most used view you're going to see in comics or pictures. 
of course there's these ones and these two as well they're very common as well but I, th I feel a lot of people use um, three quarter views so what you're gonna do is you're it's this is a bit about perspective right now and I placed it wrong which is why we have guidelines so that we do not misplace them without knowing until the very end but so here Like that. Like that. So this is kind of like a three quarter view. And I'm going to show you how you can draw one looking this way. And this one kind of looks like he, this is, he's looking down. But I think you get the concept of it right now. But like that. like so so guys that leads me to the end of this video um and by the way sorry if this video is a bit late on the weekends i was a bit busy so here i just made this video um i hope you like i hope you liked it and if you want to be entered in a shout out i'll have contest details in the description and have fun drawing and i'll see you in my next video